New abortion restriction is now in effect with a near total abortion ban waiting in the wings. Today, the U.S. 6th District Circuit Court struck down a lower court's block on Tennessee's six week abortion and fetal heartbeat law. Lawmakers passed it more than two years ago. It was hit with an immediate lawsuit backed by the ACLU and abortion clinics around the state, including one here in Knoxville, and it's been on hold ever since. The law requires abortion providers to check for a fetal heartbeat, and starting at six weeks into the pregnancy, if a heartbeat is found, it would be against the law to go ahead with the procedure unless uh, medical emergencies would arise. And come mid-August, abortion will be illegal in Tennessee starting at the moment of fertilization, except, as Attorney General Herbert Slatery puts it, to save the mother's life or prevent irreversible impairment of a major bodily function. We've told you about the 30 days from overturning Roe to activating that trigger law. The exact date depends on when the opinion is officially published in print. Slatery expects it to happen in mid-July, starting that 30-day clock. Today, Planned Parenthood of Tennessee and Northwest Mississippi says it can no longer provide surgical or medical abortion procedures, and it has been working to wrap up final appointments this week. Knoxville's Planned Parenthood office burned down back in December in a suspected arson. The group is now suggesting patients head to other states for those services. For folks in Middle Tennessee and West Tennessee, that's often going to be health centers in Illinois. Um, for those in East Tennessee, the closest providers could be in uh, North Carolina um, or Virginia. That sets up a new legal divide to go with the geographic divide in Bristol, which straddles the Tennessee-Virginia state line. Bristol Regional Women's Center, currently on the Tennessee side, now plans to open a clinic in Virginia to offer abortions while still offering other services at its current home. That's according to a post from a doctor with the clinic on a GoFundMe set up to raise money for the center. That effort has raised nearly $80,000. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee tweeted today that the court's decision marks, quote, another significant protection for unborn children in our state. He went on to thank the attorney general for his efforts and the court for, quote, swift action on behalf of Tennessee families.